star of stage and screen and former director of the Art Gallery of New South Wales, the unstoppable Edmund Capon, chatted with me recently in London about the remarkable contemporary Chinese art exhibition he's curated at the White Rabbit Gallery in Sydney's Chippendale. A number of these works wouldn't be allowed to be seen in China, so it's well worth taking a look. But be quick though, because the White Rabbit show ends in early February. I must say, well, you know the White Rabbit, it's a fabulous place, it's absolutely terrific. And Judith said to me at the beginning of the year, I think sort of at March or thereabouts, would I curate a show for them? So I said, you bet, I'd love to do that. And um, so I, I sort of thought about it, you know, they've got, what, 800 words, uh, a lovely building, and you can probably fit in about mm, 40 works into a show. So I thought, well, you can either just go around and say, well, I like that one, I like that one, and don't worry about um, but, you know, some kind of storyline. But then inevitably, you know, the curatorial conceit of a theme comes in. You, you, know, you know what we're like. We've got to give it a message of some kind. So I, I thought about it. and. and I took, I started to look at the works and I thought, well, what are the motives, the motivations, the sensibilities of these artists in the 21st century in China? What's, you know, what's their mood? And it came out that, I, you know, I, there was still a mood of fear, which is, which is very much there. And when you, you, uh, you talk to us, you see artists, and sometimes they just disappear for a while. Um, we all know the story of Ai Weiwei, but he's the classic, but there are many others. So fear is, fear is there. Um, but of course there's been some liberation in the last two decades or so. And, and after the repression, so much repression, you open the door a bit, there's kind of, you know, the, the tiger's out of the cage, and there's a sense of anarchy. And I think that within anarchy, after repression, anarchy sort of breeds a sense of hope. So, you know, I had these three themes of, of fear, anarchy, and hope. And those, out of that, we sort of formulated a show. When I first went to China, the very first time in 1972, in the Cultural Revolution, everything, your caps, your, your, everything had, had Wei Ren Min Fu Wu, which means serve the people. So I thought, that's what we'll call the show, Serve the People, because in a way, I think these artists are really serving the people and liberating their minds and imaginations. And it's uh, extraordinary what's coming out. Yeah, this, a, lo a lot of that art that, that you see in, in The White Rabbit, you've seen a show like this, is, is not seen in China, though. Is that so? Mm. It's, re it's, it's very confronting, it's quite in your face, a lot of it, yeah. but it is, it's, it's got an amazing energy to it, and I think it's, it speaks volumes and accurate volumes about the, you know, the current mood and energy in China.